Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about shin stapling, opponent's leg to uh, pass his guard. One of the coolest way to pass our opponent's guard. Also very, very effective because uh, you redirect the initial pass. So let's start with uh, shin stapling. How are we gonna get there? And then we're gonna see our options uh, from that position. So. I like to start my shin stapling from initial knee slide position. So I'm gonna try to knee slide through my opponent's guard and obviously he'll put all sorts of frames here, right? He, he, he's gonna put yeah, his arms up, framing my upper body, also his uh, shin is usually here uh, in front of my hips, stopping me from uh, sliding through, right? And most of the time he will raise this one up, putting like a hook on my thigh, so in general, my opponent is expecting me to, uh, to knee slide and he knows how to work against that. So whenever I get to that position, I feel like I can't break through, I can't slide through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control this arm here. So I can control like a uh, sleeve here, pull it up a little bit, or I may fight with that frame, circle my hand in, post it on the ground, right? Or sometimes it, it, it won't be necessary because he will be pushing back so hard that you don't feel like this hand will, uh, will stop you from uh, going all the way to that side. So after dealing with this hand, let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, pin it to the ground. I'm gonna open my knee to my opponent's far hip like so and I want to slide all the way to the other side. So I'm sliding through and now my shin is stapling his thigh to the ground. So my knee here is connected with the ground and I have a hook behind his thigh. Now whenever I get to that point I don't want to stay like this, super low, because obviously here when I stay low, my hips are heavy, my legs are heavy, so I'm not very mobile here. What I want to do is, I want to lean forward with my upper body. So, I can go like this, with my both hands on the ground, above his shoulder line, or if I'm afraid that for some reason my opponent is gonna, gonna escape, gonna, uh, gonna run away from the position, maybe like push me, push me away and scoot out. I can also grab a grip on the collar, pin his chest down, and the other one I'm gonna pose on the ground. Now, whenever I get to that position, I have a lot of options to finish the pass. So we're gonna take a look uh, into some of those options and we're gonna break them down, all right? So, first of all, whenever, whenever I'm here, I can always go back and knee side pass. So being here, I can start working to get the underhook here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my hand here from above his shoulder underneath his armpit. And now I'm gonna raise my hips up and I'm gonna go all the way to the other side. My shin hits the leg and in a dynamic fashion, I want to pull his arm up and slide through. So coming back to a knee slide is always an option here. Now, the other options. So it's going to be more visible from that angle. So the other options are passing to this side towards uh, stapled leg. So. I get here. Now, first, what, I, what I'm gonna do, what, I, what, I, what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to fold his leg with my hip. So whenever my opponent makes a mistake and he goes with his knee a little bit too close to, my, to the center line of my body, towards my chest, then I can use my hip to fold his legs together. And now I'm going to be able to pull them up, step over, and start going to the side. Now, if 
I'm not going to be able to do that. So let's say I'm trying to fold his leg with my hip, but uh, he's very good in opening his knee, maintaining the angle. What I can do is I can go with my knee in between his legs. So I'm sliding my knee through and I'm posting my knee up on the ground. Now from that point, I want to control his upper body really tight. So I'm going to grab chest to chest control and now I'm sliding my leg through. My leg is not in dangerous anymore so I can put my foot in between his legs. I'm going to open my knee and my kneecap goes all the way towards his knee. So this leg gets stretched. If it's stretched, he can't generate much power to uh, bump me, to, to bridge, to maybe shrimp, right? And from that point, I'm just gonna put my legs together, step over the hip, and I'm ending up in a mount position. So that's gonna be my second option. Third option, whenever I'm here and I can't really get with that knee underneath because my opponent is constantly blocking, his, his leg setup is really good. What I can do is I can make some space here. So I'm lifting my hips up a little bit more and I'm pummeling my leg on top. Now, when my leg is on top of his leg, I don't want it to be loose. If it's loose, there's no control. So I need to pinch my knee to his thigh here and my hook becomes really tight. Now from that point, if it's tight, I can use that leg to kick his leg back. Now the knee is not in front of my hips anymore, so I can drop down and then I can slide all the way to a mount position. So as you can see, shin stapling, one of the sneakiest way to pass your opponent's guard. Uh, give it a try, hit the subscribe button and see you soon.